Hey, welcome to Daily Hope. Jeff Moore here, the Director of Business Community. It's uh, great to be with you this morning uh, or this afternoon, whenever you're uh, uh, watching this particular video as we dive into God's Word. Uh, we know that God's Word never comes back void and what a privilege it is uh, for us to be able to journey together in God's Word. So we have the privilege today to begin a new journey in the book of 1 Samuel. So the setting is this in 1 Samuel, Elkanah, which is um, Samuel's father, but yet Samuel is yet to be born, um, is a Levite, uh, which means that he carries religious responsibilities uh, for the children of Israel. He has two wives, one named Penina, the other named Hannah. Uh, Penina already had children uh, with Elkanah, yet scripture says Hannah was barren. So she did not have any kids. And so the story the setting is, you know, Hannah, since she couldn't have children, uh, she would weep. Uh, she was really sad about not being able to have kids. And to make matters worse, uh, Penina would always shame her or make fun of her, scripture says. So not only was she sad that she couldn't have kids, Hannah that is, she then had Elkanah's other wife making fun of her of uh, not being able to have children. So that's that doesn't make someone feel very good, now does it? And so um, what did Hannah do uh, in her times of weeping and sadness and then uh, times of even being shamed by another? Uh, scripture says that Hannah went and prayed. She went to the tabernacle and brought a request to God and committed herself to prayer and committed to herself to asking the Lord for a son. And in return, she vowed to commit her son to the Lord's service. So as she was praying at the tabernacle, um, high priest by the name of Eli was witnessing her, wit witnessing her praying and thought that she was drunk because she was just praying in her heart and moving her lips, but the words weren't coming out. So he approached her and said, are you drunk? And she said, of course I'm not drunk. I'm just petitioning the Lord uh, for a son. And he said, May the Lord grant your prayer. And she went on. What's interesting is the next day, as scripture says, she didn't get up again and request the Lord, God, may you grant me another son. But scripture says she went and worshiped the Lord. And as she was worshiping, scripture says that the Lord remembered her. And the next part of scripture, the next verses talks about how then she became pregnant and um, with Samuel and she ends up having Samuel, and Samuel, which means the name of God or the offspring of God. And then finally, um, towards the end of the passage, uh, talks about how Hannah followed through with her commitment to the Lord and brought Samuel when he's about three years old uh, to the house of the Lord. So what can we learn from this passage? I think what I take away from this particular passage as I was praying about it and praying through it and reading through it, you know, there's three elements to the passage. One is challenging circumstances. Two, kind of what did Hannah do in those challenging circumstances? She ended up committing herself and seeking the Lord. And then thirdly, what did she end up doing? She followed through on her commitment. So those kind of are the three parts that came from this passage. But if there's an overarching theme to that, is that Hannah focused in on the unseen versus the seen. So think about that. She focused on the unseen. What is the unseen? The unseen is God's ways versus our ways. God's ways versus my ways. When sometimes I can find myself uh, getting frustrated, um, I can find myself becoming angry, I can find myself becoming upset, uh, for what I seen, even today, I just had to text a friend of mine and say, you know what, will you forgive me? Because the last two times we've been together, um, I've been complaining and um, that wasn't right. So will you forgive me for complaining? Because I'm looking at the scene. I love the passage in 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, so we fix our eyes on what is not on, not what is seen, but what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Hannah understood that. Was she sad of her circumstances? Of course she was. Uh, she couldn't have children as though she thought, 
but she knew that the Lord was the ultimate giver of life. And so she sought the Lord. And so today, friends, are we fixed on what is seen, which is very easy to do, and become frustrated, become depressed, become anxious? Um, or do we trust the Lord and do we walk with the Lord in faith? and seek the Lord and press into the Lord. Scripture says if we draw near to God, he will draw near to us. Friends, may I encourage you today that we focus in on the unseen as Hannah did versus the seen. And even when we have people making fun of us or people that are shaking their heads at us, that we remain obedient to the Lord and press into him. God bless and have a great day.